Warwick's is one of the top brands that come to mind when it comes to gardening tools. Last week, I had the pleasure to see the Warwick's WR140 in action and play around with it for a little while. In my Warwick's WR140 review, I'm going to share my experience and we're going to explore the reasons why it's worth every penny. Hey everybody, it's your favorite local realtor, Adam Burnout. It's Thursday and you know what that means, it's Smart Home Tech Review Day. Today we are looking at the Warwick WR140, an entry-level robot lawnmower from Warwick. Let's dive in, shall we? The WR140 sports the same black and orange color scheme as its predecessor and uses the same floating deck design that allows it to travel over hills and slopes without scalping your lawn. It has two 8-inch rear wheels, a single front wheel that measures 10 by 15 by 22 inches, and weighs about 21 pounds. It uses a spinning disc with three rotating cutting blades to provide a relatively narrow 7-inch cutting width. But that's because this module is designed for smaller, quarter-acre sized lawns. Cutting heights range from 1.5 to 3.1 inches and can be adjusted using the big round dial on top of the mower. At the rear is a cover that lifts up to reveal the battery compartment, a USB port for updating firmware, and a compartment for the included Find My Android module that gives the mower GPS capabilities. There are two charging blades on the right side of the mower that connect with the charging blades on the, the base station when the mower is parked at home. The mower is powered by a rechargeable 20 volt battery. It can be removed and used in other Warwick 20 volt cordless power tools such as hedge trimmers, edgers, and weed whackers. Under the hood are dual brushes, electric motors with a maximum sound rating of about 63 decibels. Also under the hood is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi radio that connects your mower to, the home, to your home network. Installing the WR140 for the first time isn't difficult, but laying the perimeter wire can be time consuming and requires a fair amount of physical worth, work with much of the time spent on your hands and knees, hammering stakes into the ground. Thankfully, Works provides detailed installation instructions that make the job fairly easy. Once the perimeter wire was installed and the charging base was powered up, I placed the mower on the base to let it charge. I downloaded the mobile app, created an account, and followed the app's instructions to scan the QR code located under the battery cover. Using the mower's control panel, I scrolled down to set up Wi-Fi, started SmartLink, and selected my home Wi-Fi. I entered my password, and the mower was connected within 30 seconds. The Warwick's WR140 performed wonderfully in testing. I let it create a schedule based on my lawn size using the lawn calculator, and it was followed without any problems at all. I set the cutting height to the lowest setting and the mower kept my lawn neat and well trimmed. The cut to edge feature had no trouble trimming the edges of my lawn and the blades did a good job of cutting the grass clippings into a fine mulch. The motor was very quiet and the rain sensor did its job postponing the scheduled cycle after a heavy downpour and restarting it four hours later which was the time I set in the rain delay setting. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, be the cool guy or girl and give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.